a grammar. Please get your grammar book. Okay, we are still in chapter 10. Agreements. We are in the agreements. Previous time we took how a subject should agree with its verb and number. Okay, so if the subject is singular, the predicate is singular. If the subject is plural, so the predicate would be plural. And then we took what if we find intervening sentences uh, or, or clauses or phrases uh, like what? What if I find an intervening phrase like a prepositional phrase? I don't look at it because we never find the subject in a prepositional phrase. What if I find an intervening clause? I don't look at it. OK, and we discussed it previous time. Then we uh, took agreement with indefinite pronoun and we said that pronouns, the indefinite pronouns are divided into the three parts. Always singular, always plural, sometimes singular, sometimes plural. They always singular with everybody, anybody like this, it's either neither one and always plural is uh, a few, many, several, both. And sometimes singular, sometimes plural is few, many, and uh, uh, no, uh, all, none, any, more, most, some. Few, many is the plural. All, none, any, more, most, some. And then we said, in all, none, any, more, most, and some, we have to look at the object of preposition. This is the only case I look at the prepositional phrase. Why I look at the prepositional phrase? Because I look at the object of, of preposition, because the object of preposition determines, determines whether the subject would be singular or plural. Okay? Okay, today we'll take agreement with compound subject. Let's uh, share the PowerPoint. Tisha, can I go get my charger for a second? Yes. Today we will take agreement with compound subjects. So I have compound subjects. Okay, here is the PowerPoint. Uh, a compound subject is subject and subject or subject or subject when I combine com two subjects together. So the case is if if I will join them using and singular plus singular will be what we take which verb plural singular subject and plural subject plural verb also. Plural subject and plural subject plural, plural verb. So whenever there is and, this verb will be what? Plural. 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 So Alicia and Miguel write. The girls and the boys write. Alicia and the boys write. Whether singular, singular, or plural, plural, or singular, and plural. So this is easy. When they are combined by using and, it's plural verb. Here is the special case. What if I combine them using or or nor? He says to me, if it's singular or singular, the verb is singular. If it's a plural or plural or nor plural, the verb is plural. What if it's singular, plural or plural and singular like what? OK, here the ranger, ranger is a subject or the campers subject campers and they are connected by or so he says to me in this case i take the nearest to verb the nearest to verb so the ranger or the camper c nearest nearest to verb the rangers or the camper camper c is nearest to verb why because they are joined by or 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 nor i take the nearest to the verb or, or nor, I take the nearest to the verb. The nerd, the rangers, the explorers, or the camp, or what if I have a hundred plurals and I also take the nearest to verb. The camper sees. The subject that we said previous time is separated from the verb by with as well as together with along with. I I don't consider them as intervening as a, a conjunction. So they do not add, they are not and. OK, so I, I, here I'm not saying the politician and the newsman. I'm not saying again, 
Again, I'm not saying here the politician and the newsman. No, I'm saying the politician along with. So along with is not a conjunction here. It's not and. So I will not take the nearest to the verb or, or, or it's or or nor. If it's and, it will be plural. If it's or or nor, it will be the nearest to the verb here. I don't consider it. I don't look at it. Don't look at it. With as well as together with along with don't look at them. So it will be only the politician. Politician is again with as well as together with along with. I don't look at them. I take the subject, the first subject only. Teacher, you said the nearest to the verb. No, I said the nearest to the verb when I use or or nor only. Done? When I use or or nor only. Or intervening words like together here is I said it again together with in addition, addition to as well as including in similar to constructions following the subject do not affect the number of the subject. The teacher together with the student submits. Why teacher? It's the students. No, 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 no. Don't look at this. It is an intervening phrase. Don't look at it. The judge as well as the committee. No, 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 no. Don't look at it. It's intervening phrase. Don't look at them. Judges here, take the verb. Teacher here, text the verb. So again, when I use and, James and, always plural. When I use or, nearest to verb. So either here, he or has dogs, uh, where, nearest to the verb. Either he or his dog, nearest to the verb was, nor is the same. Neither the coach nor the players, uh, coach or players, nearest to verb, where. Neither the players nor the coach, uh, nearest to the verb, was, coach, singular. So in or and nor, I take nearest to verb. Again, or and nor, nearest to verb. Then, OK, so let's solve first and then we go to the second uh, uh, lesson uh, here. Grade 11. Only 23 girls with me today. Can I answer number one? Who wants to answer? Yes, Lynn, please. Number Me? one, the answer. Lean? Mm. Yes. Mm. The answer is lies. Uh, okay. Uh, number one is connected by what, Lean? By and. And and is always what? Uh, a compound. Yes, compound. So it is what? Yes. Huh? So it's what, Lean? Yes. It's what? And the verb is what for and? Not nearest to verb, really. And Jack and Sam are plural. Oh, we said here. Oh, we said okay. here. No, we I said here. understand what do you mean by and. Uh, and is the conjunction. We said here and here James and always take plural. Here, whenever it's and plural, whenever it's and, whenever the conjunction is and, it's always plural. Yes, I didn't understand that you mean if it's singular or plural. If it's anything, whenever there is and, it's always plural. Okay, Habibti? Yes. Okay, Aline. So I had. Yes, miss. Yes, I had number two. Um, both the Atlantic and the Pacific border. Yes, why border? And you have to tell me where are the subjects, girls? Where are the subjects here? Uh, Atlantic and mm. Pacific. Oh, why border? Because it's um, and. Yes, and excellent. Uh, Arwa? Uh, Banjak? Batul? 
Yes, Dina. Miss. Batul? Yes, Miss. Yes, Batul, number three, yeah, Batul. Read it, Batul. Message. Batul? Yes, Miss. Read it. From the book, right? Batul. Yes, yeah, Batul, page 193. You didn't open your book? No, yeah, Miss. Miss, I'm not sure to open your book. Why, Batul? Sam, I'm just going to open it. Okay, Batul. Let's get to it. Yes, who says, Miss? I'm in Tia. I'm sorry, I'm late for the period. Ah, okay. I just walk. Okay, just okay. open your book, dear. Yeah, sure. Dina? Neither the bus nor the trains. Tell me where are stop. the subjects here, Dima? Bus and train stop. Yeah. Why stop? Because the nearest to the verb is trains. Yes. Then uh, Gala? <coughs> Gala? Harir? Miss, I get the book. Okay, yeah, yeah. But we'll open page 193 until we... I call you again. Hoda? Yes, Miss. For you, Hoda, quickly. Yes. Um, uh, uh, R? Yes, why? Because there is... Uh, what is the subject? Um, um, this word, what's this word, Miss? Uh, the second word. Yes. Oh, Beautus oh. or uh, Misa. Okay, or, excellent. Number five, Judy. Uh, the children or their guide have... Oh, the subject, the, where are the subject? The subject is children and mm. guide. The verb is what? Uh, the verb is one, uh, is have. Have? These wonder. two subjects are connected by what, Judy? Or. So when I see or, I take what? Uh, children is plural. Yes, and then guide is singular. When they are connected by or, I take what? Uh, I take a singular verb. Yes, why? Because the, Read in the subject slide. nearest to the verb. The verb is what? Matters. Is, is singular. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Layal. Leah? Lean yes. motor? Yes, teacher, can you hear me? Yes, please. Teacher number seven? Yes, yeah, uh, six. Six? six. Yes, teacher, with stance? Huh? With an S, stance. Stance with S or without? With. Why? Where is the subject? Uh, Subject, Yelin. Read it, Yelin. Linda? Yes, 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 Number six, Yalinda. She, uh, Lean said stuns. Why stuns? What is the subject? Uh, bikes. Bikes speak because it's a uh, proper noun. Top. What about uh, continental divide? Why I can't take it in? Why they, uh, they didn't consider it? Uh, because it's um, just my prepositional phrase. Not okay. Okay, because it's intervening phrase. Okay. Yes. Because we said when I see together, I don't look at it. Seven. Uh, Lujain. Yes. Mm. Go or the north. Raise your voice, Lujain. San Francisco or the northern counties. Yes. Where are the subjects? San Francisco and counties. Yes. 
the verb would be are because yeah. carries is plural. Yes. Yes. Okay. Malak ha el haj. Yes, miss. Yes, Malak nine. Uh, eight. Uh, the subjects are the uh, river as well. The uh, river and the uh, Hansan River. And yes, as form. And the verb form. Yemalek, uh, uh, we said when I see. When I see. Here. When I see together with, in addition to, as well as, including. Here, with, as well as, together with, along with, I don't look at it. I don't consider it. So here the subject will be what? So the subject will be as well as? No, no, I don't look at it. I don't take it. I don't use it. I forget it. Yani I, I cross it, cross it. So where would be the subject? Yani we, will uh, we will cross yani as well as. Cross as well as the Hudson River. We don't want it. When, when I find it, I don't continue reading. Yani Dilwar River is the... Excellent. So the verb will be what form or forms? Forms. Forms. Excellent, yeah, Malik. Batuli will answer Tanya Batul, okay? Malika. Neither Kansas nor the two Dakotas produce why? Where are the subjects first? Kansas and two Dakotas. And, and Dakotas only, don't take two because it's an adjective. So the verb will be what? Produce. Produce, excellent. Batul? Yes, miss. Ten mm. Batul. Either my parents, my, uh, either my brother or my parents want to tower NASA. Where are the subjects, Batul? My my. Yes, my brother. My brother and my parents. Yes, brother, parents, brother, parents, and they are connected by or. They are connected by or, or. Look, or. When I connect subjects using or, I take which verb? Uh, my uh, wants. Wants because I take the nearest to the verb and near. Parents, parents is plural, so I take nearest to the verb, so it would be what? Be nearest to the verb is, is parents. Yes, once, yes. Once with S or without S? With S. Parents, parents is plural. Want? Want, yes, but yes. It's my brother and my parents, it's the brother and no. Brother is singular. Or yes. parents, I take nearest to verb because they are connected by or. Do you see my PowerPoint? Yes, yes. They are connected by or or nor. My brother is singular, parents is plural. I take the nearest to the verb, which is plural. Okay. Here, I'll write it. Here. Okay. okay, okay, then girls, we move to Miss? Yes, can you hear me? I'm Leah. Yes, Leah. Okay, because you asked me and I didn't ask. Yes, so be prepared, Jale, because you'll ask, you will answer next time in the next question. Okay, agreement with subjects following verbs and with collective nouns. What is subject following verbs? We know in sentences that the subject comes big at the beginning and then followed by the verb. So, Ahmed walks, Ali brings, Adam uh, uh, runs, she talks. Okay, they follow subject, then comes after it the predicate. Okay, intervening prepositional phrase. We took this. 
but I, I brought it again so to revise it. Here, the verb, here is the subject is collection. Subject is collection. Then I find of rare stamps. I don't look at prepositional phrase. I don't look at prepositional phrase again. I don't look at prepositional phrase. So the collection was here. The puppies in the I don't look at prepositional phrase. So the puppies have. So this is number one. Number two, in intervening sentences, in intervening sentences that we were just saying, intervening sentences is when I start with the verb and then comes the subject. I start with the verb and then comes the subject. So here, here, this is the normal sentence resting on the floor where the young girls are uh, here. No, here he started with what? He started with uh, the young girls come, came after the verb. So resting on the floor, comma, this is a perceptual phrase, comma, uh, the young girls, it, it, it should be what? The young girls were, uh, the verb is here, where? The young girls, it should be like this, the young girls were resting on the floor. So here, where and resting, okay? It should be the verb phrase together, not only where. So let's go to this one better. Under these blankets sleeps her brother. So her brother should be what? Her brother sleeps under these blankets. So under these blankets is prepositional phrase. Her brother sleeps under these blankets. So here it, the subject came after the verb. The most or the common sentences that the subject follows the verb is when I start with here and there. There is never a subject. There, here and there are never subjects. Here and there are never subjects. So where is the subject after the predicate? So it should be a picture on the wall is there. A picture on the wall is there. So uh, a picture or a picture is on the wall. So the subject is is, the subject is picture, the verb is is. Here is the same, there are, so are here is not a verb for there. Here and there are never subjects, here and there are never subjects. Here, so here and there are never subjects, okay? So when I say here comes, Okay, here comes the president. Comes is the verb. Comes is the verb, girls. Yes. It's a picture the president comes here. What? But see the president comes here. Yes. President is the subject. President is the subject. Okay, so here and there are never what? Here and there are never subjects. Here and there are never subjects. Here. Here and there are never subjects. Okay, then here he wants to tell you one thing you have to be aware of. Aware with, of. That a verb agrees with the subject, not with the predicate. How? When I say here, when I say she is, uh, uh, or she is, uh, um, how can I say she is? The doctor. Here. She is the subject. Doctor is a predicate nominative. I don't care. I don't care the doctor or anything. Don't don't mix between the subject and predicate nominative. So she is the subject. Okay. Doctor is predicate nominative. Okay. 
Okay. With me? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Rice and beans, time and money. This I would say next time, John. Here. Or I will tell you what. Rice and beans, I will say it after a while. But remind me when the collected nouns. But let's take the collected nouns first. So in inverted sentences, the verb comes first. In inverted sentences, the verb comes first. What about questions? What about questions? Questions also, also, the verb comes first. And questions, how, when I say, do, does, or does he walk home? Ah, uh, so does, does, okay, and walk, and he is the subject, he is the subject, he is the subject, okay, here, then I move to collective now. I move to collective noun. What is collective noun? Collective noun is a word, a noun that is used to describe a group of people or things like family. We took it at the beginning of the year. Family, group, committee, class, organization, team, army, club, crowd, government, jury, minority, public. All of these, one word, but stays there are many inside. Flock, herd, class. Collective nouns are generally taken as whole and hence are treated as singular and singular verb issues. So when I look at the sky, I say to you, look, there is a flock of birds. How many birds? Maybe hundreds of birds. How can I say is teacher? Because I say a flock, flock, the flock of birds. They are immigrating to west. All of them are moving in one direction. The flock is going. So when the teacher comes and asks me, uh, where is grade 11? I say, cl the class is in the science lab. Because all of you are in the science lab, not the class itself, of course you. Okay, the class is in the science lab. But what if half of you were in the science lab and half of you were in the computer lab? In the computer lab, what can I say? I would say, great a class. The class are in the science lab and in the computer lab. Why is use R here? Because now you are divided. Divided. How teacher? Okay. Uh, look at where is my? Uh, here is it. This is my pencil case. Okay, pencil case is not collective noun because it's only one thing. Okay, but what what if I say this is the flock of birds, Yani? This all of this the flock of birds they are traveling to the west. But when I I look at the birds, there are many birds. Uh, so when I look about when I talk about birds individually, or when I talk about them as a unit is. So when I say the flock of bird is the, flies to east. Each bird flaps its wing, or we can say they flag their wings. Picture how I say is, and how I say here is it. The flock, flock of birds, flies to the west. Okay, and then we say they, Flap their own wings. Why here I used is and why here I used are? When they were one whole, when they were one a whole, when they were a whole, whole is singular. When they are together, a singular. When they are divided, plural. Another example. The jury. They takes a uh, plural verb, right? Yes. 
divide is a whole singular verb here a whole takes singular verb divided takes plural verb okay here the jury you know the jury when you go to the law uh, the jury has decided it's decision why because the whole jury the whole jury they are a whole it's a whole it's one unit but what if i say the jury uh, are still arguing uh, because each one of them is arguing each one has his own opinion they are divided not united they are divided and not United. Okay. Okay. And then how, the last how are you able to differentiate? Well, through the meaning of the sentence, context of the sentence. So when I say they are they, the jury are uh, or the jury still arguing, so I know that each one is talking. So I say are. But if I understand from the sentence that all of them take the same actions, so they are all one unit, they singular, has decided. Then the last thing for today is collective noun. Collective noun, and like here, as uh, we've just said, let's, let's bring that here before the example. Here, the same, the soccer team, okay, Marches in the parade because all of the oh, one unit, the soccer team have many different skills. Different. Here. The last thing for today. Noun appear to be plural, but actually singular. They end with S, but they are not plural. They end with S. But they are not plural. News, politics, physics, mathematics, athletics, economics, num uh, names of diseases, mums, me measles, rickets, names. Like these news, summons, linguistics, and subjects, economics, physics, ethics, mathematics, and diseases. They end with S, but always singular. So the news, you don't say uh, uh, news are bad today, news is. It ends with S teacher, yes, but it's always plural. News, always singular. And then some words huh, that are always plural. Headphones. Where are my headphones? Neck, knickers, okay? Uh, premises, which is buildings in the meaning, arms, runes, the runes are archives, savings, pinnacularis, goggles, spectacles, two, trousers, shorts, shoes, snickers, pajamas, pants, they are always plural. Done. Always singular, yes. although they end with S. Always plural, and they end with S. Okay? So, here he just says for you in the book that singular or plural, the politics, because politics is sometimes can be used as, here, girls, I, here, politics. Can be singular if it is a subject. Can be plural is an a noun. A noun like uh, uh, people. If it's people, well, politics who work who work in politics. Okay, like here, how do the politics, or, or not, not people, politicians are people. 
how can I say it to you? Um, if it's a noun, the the here how do the politics uh, the laws? If it means the laws, okay. If it means the laws, but here if it's a subject, here subject. Politics as a, a subject which like like English like math. Not a subject is is a, in in the sentence in yani not the subject that takes a predicate, a subject to study. Can be plural if it means the laws like here. How do the politics affect the seating chart in the class? Okay. okay. Serious. Yeah. Yes, girls. Okay. 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 Yes. So uh, we are out of time, and uh, I just want to answer exercise nice. I'll take only two, and next time we we'll continue solving them. Mary Muhammad, number one. Yes, Miss. Number one. Uh, statistics. Hmm. One minute. Yes. 195, right? Yes, 195. Sorry, I lost the page. Okay. Statistics uh, support supports the conclusion in her study. Uh, statistics here. Uh, statistics is the studies, not the subject. Again, uh, here. Politics can be singular if it's a subject and also huh, statistics. So oh, it's if it's a subject singular, if it's uh, if it's statistics is what you do uh, to study the market plural. Yes, so it's support. Yes, number two, uh, Nancy. Yes. Yes, um, two. If the audience applaud. Applaud. If the audience applauds. Yes, because if the audience, all of them applauds, all of them, they are together. Mm, so it's plural. Yes. Applauds. Yes, miss, I said applauds. Yes, so singular, you mean? Yeah, but I mean the verb is plural. Like with us. Verb is plural with the S. Singular with. Uh, yeah, I get. Uh, I understand. Singular with S. Yes, yeah. Okay, Nirvana. Yes. Miss uh, number one is support. Support number two applauds. Three in Nirvana. Okay. Number three is uh, the press tends to frustrate celebrities. Yes, because press is, is closer to news. Okay. Okay, girls, go because you have uh, another period to continue next time. Okay, bye, Miss. Please bye -bye. study. Please study because the week after the week, this week we'll take a quiz on the chapter. And previous time we have time, Yani, we'll take other problems and revision. So if you have any question, you have to ask me next time. Okay? Okay, bye. Bye, girls. <laughs>